Hello, my creative friends. Bite my nails. I oh, can't even see them. How unfair is that? I'm going to put a glove on anyhow. Well, have you seen it yet? The chameleon. Chameleon craze. Shout out to Chameleon Jones. We always try and remember the grandfather or grandmother of whoever um, does our new techniques of inspiration. Today, I'm going to give it a whirl because why wouldn't I? It looks amazing. It looks fantastic. I've got some skewers. Um, thanks, Tracy Henry, for your video this afternoon that I watched. It really helped open up my mind to some concepts that I'd been thinking about but then saw in practice in your video so that was cool. I've got two little 8x10s and a oh my goodness what did I do um, record. I abandoned this I don't know what happened I think the phone rang never got back to it so alas it now becomes a table or maybe a resting plate for the silicon and you know the other thing we're gonna try hand sanitizer. Yeah because I've done a pour in the past where this um, sand, get off insect, sand sanitizer, sand sanitizer, I can't say it, sand sanitizer, sand, hand, let's read it, hand sanitizer, thank you, um, has been effective. So I was uh, for cell making in the paints, so I thought I might just put a line of it here and dip some tools into it and see how it goes. I've made my paints up. It's really a combination of a few um, brands of paints, but the most important thing for us at this point is simply the consistency. So it's this consistency I've gone for. It's just easier to show than try and describe I've found. Um, and only Floetrol. And a little bit of water and Floetrol if I've needed to add it to bring it to consistency. And I'm going to do two swipes and try and have the canvases as similar as possible so that we can see the differences between the chameleon effect using silicon. The silicon that I'm using is going to be the coconut milk hair serum. You all know I love that. Though these days I don't tend to use silicon as much. A lot of us have gone off it. Well, I shouldn't say gone off it. It's more like, you know, progressed through it. And maybe progress through it's being a little bit patronising too, but found other ways that we prefer might be a nicer way to say it. Because there's certainly nothing wrong with using it if that's what you want to do. Um, you do get nice results. I haven't been a, a massive cell seeker for ages, but those chameleon cells, my friend Rob... Um, showed me some that she did in a pouring group and I'm um, just such a massive fan of her work that she's probably laughing if she's hearing this but I just couldn't help but decide. So I'm choose, I've chosen quite bright colours for the underneath um, the underneath of the swipe and I'm going to use a light blue to swipe over the top and as you can see I'm just doing sort of lines everywhere I want to encourage the, uh, the cells or the chameleon effect to interact and be multifaceted. Hey, how's that for a Sunday word? Yes, it's Sunday. Multifaceted. Okay, that's enough showing off. All right. <clears throat> I'll just sort of wiggle this paint around a bit onto the canvas. Oh, I guess I don't have to worry so much if it all comes off now because I'm going to swipe it anyway. Look how bubbly it is. It's because I've just made it. Um, I, if you don't know, I've been so into resin lately that um, I went and had a look at some of the paints that I had made up and it all had silicon in it or I wasn't sure. And I wanted this sort of effort of seeing how the hand sanitizer goes um, as a option to have a real opportunity to see if it's going to be effective and in order to do that I had to mix up um, paints. Look at all the air bubbles producing cells anyway. Ugh. All right let's not get that turning me off. We're going to do our thin 
layer of the light blue. There we go. And sorry if I'm blocking your view. Probably used to me now. I dare say, if you're watching, you're used to me. I'm going to just pull this ever so gently down. Here we go. Not in a rush. Oh, I didn't catch it all. Better just keep going. Look at that. What a bugger. So annoying when that happens, isn't it? And then I'll just turn it over. I'll do this one first. All right. Well, I've got loads and loads of cells coming up just naturally. How ridiculous. You know, how uncanny, should I say. Oh, that's something wrong with my folder. It's been out in the sun. I mean, what sun? It's been out in the weather and it's sort of affected. Anyway, that'll do. Oh my God. Um, can you see these cells over here just wanting just coming up on their own it's almost embarrassing I mean well it's not almost embarrassing all, all I've done is just mix up my float troll and paint and done a swipe and trying to get a chameleon effect and it's off it goes by itself without me even having a chance to do it so not fair all right I'm gonna put a oh, don't need to open it do I because I need a good squirt of this do a line of that there that was the hair serum, by the way. And I'm just gonna grab a couple of these skewers and try and get them in at the same length. And, oh, I nearly doubled it into the... gone very quiet haven't I I have got another tool but I did want to see how these go because I was thinking that maybe I could control what I'm doing oh I just dragged it through that's not nice so really when you're doing it you're wanting to make sure you bring your tool right back up so that You don't drag paint anywhere. Did you hear me finish a uh, stop mid-sentence while I was gathering my thoughts? All right, well, that's the silicon and it's looking terrific. And I think I'd like to make my, have a shot at making my paint a bit thicker. And also, maybe with a deliberate composition in mind. Though these are really cute little blooms that I'm getting. And of course I will bring you down, but not quite yet, because let's, let's see on this other canvas how using the same tool, well, not that actual set, but using um, hand sanitizer goes to produce the chameleon effect because if it's effective it will be very helpful in regards to creating creations that can be varnished or resined with effortless ease i love saying effortless ease at the same time down and up oh oh my god hand sanitizer is going to be my preferred way to go can you believe that i can I'll put a link in my descriptions to a previous video I did such a long time ago now where I added hand sanitizer into my paint mix and got fabulous cells and I mixed up the same amount of paint and flow troll and added silicon and you couldn't really tell the difference. I seem to be really satisfied with whatever I get just with flow troll. And then, of course, going off onto my resin journey. Um, 
has brought a whole lot of different things too. Let's go over here and see there's a lot of blue and purple. Oh wow, of course I'm concentrating over here and not seeing how much this is spread and wow, they're really, really super cute. Let's put three in a cluster and really close together and see if we can get like a clover. Okay, so I'm bringing that in so I can control the nib of it. Three, over into the hand sanitizer and there looks like a good area. Oh, they're too close together. Just give that a clean. Let's see if I can separate it somehow. Let's pretend I'm holding chopsticks. No, no. Maybe just doing one, two, three. Oh, off I go. I can't stop. It's very fun. Well, what can I say? The hand sanitizer works, but the silicone is superior. Should I try some dishwashing liquid? Yeah, I'm gonna eat because there's never a video where I don't walk off, is there? Bear with me, I'll go and get the dishwashing liquid. Oh, that was just horrible because I realized that um, I've missed half of the video and that was showing you the differences between the, the dishwashing liquid, though it didn't work really well and I just will try and demonstrate again right here. I've got some clean skewers into the dishwashing liquid and we'll go to an area there. And so it does slowly and surely bloom, but in my um, excitement and haste before, I didn't realize that the video had finished. Well, not finished. I think I went inside to get the dishwashing liquid and forgot to put it back on when I came out. Whoa, so sorry about that. It doesn't work very well anyhow, that's it there. Okay. I'm not gonna let myself feel sad, but why am I feeling sad? It's cause I really wanted to show you really well. And I still have, look at those, they're still growing. They look like nice pansies. Imagine how much fun you, we're gonna have once we work out the different types of patterns we can get and also estimating how much it stretches out. Super fun stuff. 